Hello, good evening everyone. Am I audible? Show your thumbs up with a great smile. Yes, uh, we always start our work with smile. Reason behind, you should understand the importance of smile in your life. Okay? And um, see, when you start your work with smile, you start enjoying the work. And a smile, it is what? It symbolizes joy. And when you do any artwork or any work with joyful heart, what happens? You are able to give you more than 100%. And when you are able to give more than 100%, what happens? Yes, you are able to do your best. That's why whatever you are doing, start it with smile. And let's practice in our classes. In our regular class, I always start the work with a smile. And uh, yes, slowly it becomes the habit of uh, kids to start any work with smile and keep a smile always on their face. Okay? So today we all are here to learn a beautiful watercolor landscape you know, because many of you must be having watercolors in your syllabus and many times in many competitions like organizers they want you to use watercolors Achha, I want to know how many of you are having exams uh, these days show thumbs up or nearby quite close assignments and all are going on oh many of you uh, show your thumbs up though or assignments and projects are going on in your school Okay, but still you find out time and attending classes. This is truly praiseworthy. Very good. Okay, so chalo, without delay, we will start our work. Okay, so today we are going to learn a beautiful landscape. Okay, and for this first thing you will decide is how you're going to use your paper. And you will decide how you're going to use your paper. So see, I kept my paper vertically. Okay, I kept it vertically. So first, turn your file and keep your paper vertically. Come on. Okay. And now you will take your pencil and you will frame your work. Like here, I want to create a landscape. And see, normally when we think about landscape, the mountains, hut, bushes, trees and whatnot, and these all come in mind. But here we will be creating one landscape with very minimum uh, elements around. Okay. With very minimum elements, we will create it and we are going to learn the importance of that. It's a beautiful sunset uh, drawing we will be learning. And for this, see, I will keep my paper a little diagonal so that you can understand that how we are going to frame it. See, it's my full, this is a full view I'm giving. So first, you are going to mark your center. Come on, mark your center. Hold your pencil uh, uh, very loose. You wake up, you can... Message me your doubt and I will immediately clear your doubt. Okay. In our class, uh, we keep uh, children um, on mute and we reply immediately as they share their message in chat box. Okay. For smooth conducting of class. Because the moment we unmute kids, the camera shift on to them. And, and then what happened? Other children, this it disturbs the rhythm of class. Okay. Yes, with step-by-step -step guidance, we will learn a beautiful landscape today. And we want to show, uh, this is center, you will come slightly up. Yeah, this is your center. The center is a very important point. Keep this in mind very carefully. Come slightly up, almost two fingers up and make a line. Don't use scale for this. Make a line without using scale. Okay. Yeah. Don't use scale and how to hold your pencil. See, normally you hold pencil this way for writing now. But for drawing, you will be holding it loose. Okay. When you hold your pencil loose, you are able to move your hand more freely. Lines are more rhythmic and free. Okay. And lights are lines are very light. You know, your sketching part should be done very light. Okay. And then you will be making this kind of up and down, little elevated here, little more high. You know, this kind of random shape. Keep your hand free and you will find it properly done. Okay, so here you can see I gave a curve, then when more, it's quite flat and it's quite high. No, you will not use brush pen. You know, brush pens are not permitted, Yuvika, as we are learning uh, 
watercolor painting so uh, we will be using watercolors today so if you don't have watercolors available today uh, yubika in that case you can do one thing you can simply see that how we are doing and afterwards with help of recorded session you can complete the work okay so not to worry my dear and if you feel that in class you want to do with brush pens and afterwards you you want to try it one more time you can do that ways also okay so that ways you can do but uh, in class uh, i will be teaching with help of so i will suggest all of you to use the color medium which i'm using that is watercolors okay chalo now uh, after this come on do this and i want to see this because the way you start your work you know you're like how much space you are leaving below for making water how much space for making sky this all this proportion should be perfect so uh, after completing you all can lift up your files and show the work yeah perfect hold your pencil loose okay and for watercolor always use a thick paper i know your paper quality should be good not only for watercolors but for any kind of color if your paper quality will be good i know you will see you will be able to do uh, you will find better out and many of you have not turn on their cameras if they want if you want you can turn on your cameras many of many are sitting with closed cameras shabash very good now i want to make a big sun if you want to give it a look of sunset in that case what you will do you will take a uh, this kind of circle and you will be keeping it here slightly behind and outside like i will be using outside circle for making a big i will be giving you the diameter diameter is 4 and seven and half finger it's a seven and half finger plate or a bowl or anything and you are going to make it this way okay acha i want to know how many of you want to learn a moon night drawing show thumbs up okay let me see and how many of you want to learn a sunset drawing it can be used for both actually तो ठीक है चलो आई विल टीच यू सनसेट एंड फॉर मून नाइट वॉट चेंजेस यू विल बी डूइंग दैट ऑल्सो आई विल टेल यू ओके मून नाइट ड्रॉइंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न ऑन आर यूट्यूब चैनल बन आर्ट वर्क वी कवर अप इट वॉज वॉटर फॉल इन मून नाइट ओके तो दैट यू कैन सी एंड टूडे लेट्स लर्न सनसेट ड्रॉइंग इट इज गोइंग टू बी दैट बिग सन ओके एंड विल सिंपली एड दिस काइंड ऑफ elevated area and this is your center right this is your center so when you come straight down to in middle you know in middle of it like see this is the distance this is the distance so let's take take this distance so the mid center of this middle of this distance i will make a line here not in center on side and this is going to be four fingers big Four. It can be slightly bigger. Four and half. Come on, make a line. And these are two points. Okay. And what you will be doing now? Very carefully see what ways you will. So I will find this. This is absolutely sleeping line. It should not be diagonal or slightly uh, tilted. No. absolutely straight line and i have two points and how much four and half four fingers and little more four and half finger is the width of this okay after this you will come on the lower point here one side you can keep two fingers two and half fingers two and half and here i think we can keep like see this is the center na no? this is the center you can take less of the center half of the center i will give you the measurement this is seven fingers seven fingers big okay and 
I will connect this line to this. If you feel for this, you want to use scale, you can. Okay, because this is an L object, a kind of, and here you can connect it here. It can, if you feel that it is looking too broad, so you can do one thing, you can keep it four and five. This is four and a half, so let's keep it six fingers. Four and two, six fingers. Come on, reduce this size. Was it looking too much broad? So this is two and half. This is six and half and you will connect. It's a kind of wooden ramp in water. Kind of platform, kind of structure in water. Okay, we want to show this face. And it is having support of bamboos in water. You can move over and you can sit this kind of thing we want to show. Okay, so I took four, five, six fingers distance here. And this is two and a half fingers distance here. Okay, two and a half this side. Two and a half finger this side. And here, six fingers distance. And you will simply connect. And how much this is? This is four and a half. Okay? This kind of elevated figure we will show. It is going in water. This is made of wood, bamboo, with help of bamboo, kind of ram. Uh, it's a kind of platform in water. Okay? And after this, we need our scale. And see, by making lines which I'm teaching, you are supposed to be very, very careful. Okay? So, after this, what we will do, we will keep our scale here. Have you all done? I will, I'll wait, I'll wait. As I can see, many kids want me to wait for you, right? So, you can see these lines are quite broad here and gradually they are coming close. Okay? This way, yes, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. When you all will show your thumbs down, no? thumbs up, then only we will move ahead. Okay? As many kids are showing thumbs down, they want me to wait, I will wait for you. Okay? It's a beautiful landscape. You know? And uh, many of you would be having landscape in your syllabus, in your school syllabus and all. You know? so that's why we covered up and watercolor is also there in your syllabus. So that's why purposely we kept watercolor landscape. Okay? And in our regular class also, this class recording you will find on our YouTube channel. And even our regular classes, we provide recording of every class to every child with lifetime validity. You know, so that child can try a number of time and practice whenever needed. See, this was a pre-hand drawing which we learned a few days back in our senior batch, uh, batch of yours. With texture art and all. This was this is impression art. We created a jungle using impression art and a squeezed lemon, onion, lady's finger, and all. And ported and whatnot. Like in our batch, we have three batches available: pre-junior, junior, and senior. In pre-junior batch, we have kids of four to seven years old. And then in junior batch, seven years to ten years, and ten years onwards. If child is eligible for senior batch, we promote them to senior batch. In, our, uh, in between, I will show the kind of artworks we are covering up. Okay? Now you will take your scale. Red done, everyone? Can I check this much? Yeah, I want to check this much. It's beautiful. It's lovely. Shabash. Very nice. Now you will come with your scale. And you will keep your scale on this line. Come on, keep your scale on this line and start making line this way. Exactly sleeping. We'll keep your scale on front line and this way you will find this kind of platform. Okay, and the lines are absolutely parallel. You can see this, it's absolutely parallel. You know? Because we kept our scale on first line and then we draw our second line, then first, then second. Okay, so this way you will show this platform which is made of 
wood okay we want to show it is made of wood and this here like the lines absolutely sleeping and absolutely standing it's very important okay yeah now i will show the legs for this platform on which this platform is here and is going little in water here you can show one child is doing fishing if you feel that you want to show one child is sitting and doing fishing you can simply show this ways or a couple is sitting anything you can show here okay yes so with help of scale we completed all sleeping lines what did what i did i'll, I'll repeat i kept it here then i made a line then again on this then made a line then on this then made a line Okay, so this way is what happened. I find absolutely perfect lines. Now, you need to understand, you will start your standing line from corner. And, and then you will drag and here, you are going absolutely standing. If you will keep diagonal, little tilted this way or that way, it will not look good. So absolutely standing. And you are going to make... Okay, you will be making, you will keep moving your scale this way. And you will absolutely standing. As I told you, it should be absolutely standing. Okay. And on short uh, interval, you will make this kind of standing lines. As you come close, you can. This is the way you will be making 11. I'm simply writing 11. But see here with the thing which you will keep in mind, your 11 should be absolutely standing position. If it would be little tilted this side or this side, and the beauty of this uh, platform which we want to add in our landscape, it will disappear. Okay? So this is very important. This is very important to understand this. Okay? I simply made 11, okay? And how much big you are going to keep 11? Okay? Finish this. Efforts fully finish this much. Yeah. Okay. So what I did, I'll repeat. I simply mark a line first. Then afterwards, I connect to corners. And with help of scale, I made absolutely sleeping lines. And with help of scale on uh, inter small intervals, I made 11. Absolutely standing. It means this line is absolutely on 90 degree angle. Okay. And what you can do, see. You can keep this this line we have now, this line, like little geometry we are learning now. Keep your scale here and mark a point on the first line. You know, because it will help you deciding. Yeah, here. So this, this line will give you idea that like here it will go this much big. This mark will give you idea that here your this much big lines you will be making. I'm showing one more time. Don't get confused. My scale I kept here. And after keeping it here on each 11, I mark a point. Which gave me height. That what height you are going to keep for each block. Okay. Yeah. Only this much. And same you are going to do below. Because it will help me deciding that how much part I want to show in water. You know, because this is very important. This is kind of perspective look. We want to add depth. You know, we want to show like you're sitting here and you're looking at this elevated platform you know, which is in water. So this is your kind of depth you want to add in your artwork. You know, so this kind of artwork is called perspective drawing. And yes, this is also part of our syllabus because um, it's very helpful understanding 3D look. How to add 3D look. Okay. So here the height like Gradually, it should come diagonal. So, I simply kept scale and marked that. 
and same I did lower side, I mark it and I will make a sleeping line. Okay, I will make a sleeping line. And if you feel that you want to make one more here, no, I think it's enough. Okay, come on, do this. And, I, uh, and we will add by, um, this side also and then it will be done. Come on, take your own time. The only thing, using your scale properly, okay? And when we add one more dimension on your 2D surface, like your paper is having two dimensions, and a length and breadth. But when you add height or depth with illusion of lines, you know, that is called perspective drawing. Perspective drawings are of three kinds. Aerial perspective, angular perspective, and atmospheric perspective. Linear perspective also, okay? So we guide all this in our regular classes. Our new batch is going to get started from tomorrow. So those who are interested, they can register and get started with our artworks. I will show a few artworks of a senior batch. Kind of artwork we cover up. You see, we cover up uh, uh, birds. And we try to teach birds. Yes, four cart is again part of our syllabus. You can see this is uh, Patachitra artwork. Shill out. And this is abstract art. Coffee painting is also part of our syllabus. This is abstract art of Shiva and Parvati. What is the meaning of abstract art? And this is coffee painting. Devi Durga. This we learn on the Shara. And like here, we wanted to show figure anatomy is also pencil shedding is part of our syllabus. Here, pencil shedding and watercolors, uh, colors together. And uh, many other artworks are there. Um, which we learn. So this is this we learn on Independence Day. This was uh, Buddha Purnima special artwork. We learn this on Buddha Purnima, Tiger's Eye, a close up uh, view of it, and a design in circle. This was an artwork of design in circle, and a used bicycle. Earth has become the heap of garbage. Corruption, a poster making on corruption. And uh, many more artworks I will show uh, in between. We cover up them and poster makings, face study, figure anatomy. And there are so many different artworks which are part of our syllabus. You can see this poster making is you know, the way we are ignoring books and switching on to computers. And here, this is a doodle art, yoga day special doodle art. Different postures we learn. This is doodle art and mandala. Pay study with this, one stroke painting, story illustration, Independence Day special, abstract art, and many more. If you'll visit our uh, YouTube channel, and see YouTube short, you will find all of them available. Take eraser and erase all the lines which are coming in this standing 11. Come on, erase all the lines. And Okay, see this is the way you will come erase all the lines and this part you will make little thick. You know, because so you can either make a line or with help of pencil you can make it little thick. Okay, come on. Because here this is a platform and we want to make it quite thick. So you can make a line also. With help of scale you can make a line and you can finish it. And here you can see even this line, you know, it is thin and quite thick. You can keep it little diagonal and you can finish. And this part we are going to do black. Don't make it too thin, make it enough thick. Because this is a wooden platform on which you can sit in water. Okay. 
and make sure this line will come straight. We'll erase all the lines which are coming in the standing bamboos. You can make the upper portion little curved as these are bamboos. So you can simply write O on the top. Okay. And lower portion also you will erase. Because this we will show this much part is out of water and remaining is inside. Okay. Yeah. Come on, do this. And if you feel that one more you want to make, then you can make even one more. Okay, yeah, come on, do this nicely. And the same ways we will do this side, but we are, we are not going to work so much because here only the, these lines are visible. Only these lines are visible. So we will be uh, simply keeping that for first all of you do, then we will move ahead, okay? All of you finish this. And if you have landscape in your syllabus, so try this landscape and believe me, it will help you winning. Okay. I know. Um, and uh, if you will add a couple sitting here, you can connect it with different concepts like Valentine's Day special. Or if you are showing mother and a baby, Mother's Day special, father and a boy doing fishing, Father's Day special. And if you want to uh, simply show a boy doing fishing, then you can connect it with holidays, like in holiday mood, you want to spend your time here this way. Okay, now, done. Can I check the work? Will you please lift up files and show me one more time? Huh. Very good. Okay, very good. It's so perfectly done. Shabash. Okay, now what you will do? You will keep your scale here. And you will be keeping your scale here and you can make 11. Now see this side the 11 is going to be. You can first mark the line if you want as we did before. It will help us deciding how how many very light line you will be making and here also you will make 11 and the width you are going to keep the same. And I go see this is a line and here you can make your 11 keeping the same width on equal distance In front of this, so it will come here. And because this line, in front of this, so it will come here. Standing, it should not be diagonal. If you will make it tilted, it will lose its beauty. Okay, so you are supposed to make it this way. Come on. These are one, two, three, four. Here also we will make one, two, three, four. Absolutely standing. No tilted line. Okay. And yes, this line will guide you how much big you need to keep this. You will erase this line afterwards. 11. And without scale also you can write. Try to show it in front of each other. Okay. And this elevated platform is ready. Which was the most technical part I think. Anna? And. Oh. And now this is done. Okay. In this landscape, like so many things, you are going to add on directly with colors. And a very few you will be making. And this here, like this is in water. And this is in water. This is a rest part of the bamboo is in water. We want to show this face. So, okay, so lots of things are ready. Few branches with lovely uh, colorful flowers. We are going to use white and pink for that. We will show our falling down from all sides. And this way is with help of uh, colors, we will uh, create kind of aerial perspective. And uh, we will try to show things close and far, like that distance and uh, the depth we will try to add with help of colors. And it is called aerial perspective. Okay. Other name of aerial perspective is atmospheric perspective huh. okay come on do this and now this platform is ready
finish this and now we will add branches with b you will add branches you know and uh, then we will switch on to colors so for when you, you are doing watercolors so what ways you will uh, what steps you need to follow uh, ananya if you have any doubt uh, you can message me i will clear it immediately okay yeah i keep a watch on message because if what will happen my dear it will not disturb the rhythm hai na uh see uh, the artwork which i'm teaching is for beginners only and i my each class start with scratch i start each of my class with scratch only with step by step guidance okay so uh, our new batch will get started from tomorrow and we have children of 20 countries so if you belong to any other country it's absolutely fine because our classes are online hi the divya if you'll visit our youtube channel you will find countless drawings with step by step drawing and coloring guidance on birthday party and christmas we conducted many art and craft activities countless visit our youtube channel and you will find it okay now ready can i check this ha ah, please lift up files and show me one more time great very good okay so here while learning this little platform we learn little about um one point per, i am is my voice clear show your thumbs up if you all can hear me properly so ananya if my voice is not clear to you as i got your message now please check your internet my dear because sometimes due to poor internet on your side from your side it happen okay to so try it uh, that ways and uh, rest all can hear me properly so this is not a problem from my side actually okay now show branches so your very first branch will come here like this division we have now come on make a line coming here why see in middle of this all you know add branches as i'm showing and one more letter y is a great help for making branches okay and here like we want to add flowers and again you are going to use a lovely technique for making it okay you will be making one more so see try to add branches and one branch i will show is falling down from here mark a point here i want to show it's falling down on this i think it will make moon night night will look very good let's go for moon night okay one branch you will show going upper side then one is quite small one is falling down from here you can add y okay so this as for this branch you will show little coming from this side and one more branch here you know y okay we will show colorful branches with flowers am i clear am i clearly audible all of you okay ananya uh, please check your uh, side from your side my dear because rest all can hear me properly and i think uh, you can connect your class with some other um internet i think okay now here you will come here this space we have now make a line and try to reach to quite close to this one more branch bus okay so this is the way we will make we will make branches it will start from here one branch only we will show on moon and let's learn a drawing on moon night okay and you will change the color if you want to make it sunrise sunset drawing then you will switch on to orange and yellow orange yellow and red okay little change in colors and the same drawing can be used for both so chalo now your drawing part is done and i want to check it and now we will learn how to start your work what are the steps you need to follow while doing watercolor work okay as this is what is color special work moon night it means we are going to show night scene moon night and it is a moon and it is night time what ways like presence of moon 
spread silver on all the elements around how what ways you are going to show the reflection the purpose behind adding this water is to make you understand the reflection of a bright element if you have hai na so this is water okay so uh, i want to check the work of all of yours come on please lift up your files and show your work oh my god it's beyond praises so wonderful in the end now i will show your work to you only so that you can see that how wonderfully you completed very well then so our very first step for watercolor painting is done that is holding your pencil loose and making the basic layout okay this is done now keep your pencil on one side and switch on to second step what is your second step second step is picking up your eraser and erasing unwanted lines so you see if you overlap somewhere you know if you like we made a line of so if you are having some unwanted lines you erase and clean your work otherwise what will happen as watercolor uh, work is always transparent so these lines will keep reflecting and it will make your work untidy so wherever you can see some unwanted lines you erase and make your art clean so we, i don't have too many things because we have very limited yuvika whatever doubt you have please message me my dear i will immediately clear ha uh -huh, yuvika if your sister want to join the class you can you can definitely join because this is a free activity and so they can uh, and if your sister want to join our class regular class so uh, from tomorrow we are going to get started with new batch so you uh, you can get enrolled okay and uh, yes so chalo now let's get started so the very first step making drawing holding it loose second you will erase unwanted lines now third is wash wash it means in watercolors you start with light tone to dark tone okay first you complete the work of lighter tone then more darker okay ha see here i took two and half fingers this still this is two and half fingers and here it is four and two six fingers two and half six fingers okay and this is four and half we simply connect and then standing lines and all okay so chalo now be ready with your water container a plate we need and you know, and we will start with wash so the wash we will be giving with um blue color as we want to show uh blue uh want to learn uh, moon night now yes chalo so you will be taking blue color dark blue light blue two colors you will take if you don't have light blue color then you can add little white in for making light blue color so we will be taking two colors and first we will give wash wash it means we will cover the whole background okay so chalo now let's get started for that we need a plate in plate we will take colors water container is ready always take a heavy water container okay yeah so see these all colors are uh, the plate is ready and now i will start with the so okay so for giving wash what you will do you will take help of cotton come on take a piece of cotton it is best for giving wash why because cotton is having great capacity of holding color it can hold lots of color and one more magic happen when you do work with watercolors what is that i will show you so first you will take dark blue color okay you will take dark blue color taken cotton is taken now dip your cotton in water come on dip it in water yes now take it out and softly squeeze it softly it doesn't means that you will remove all water and it should not drop down by itself right it should be that dry that a drop should not fell down itself and now you can either take color in plate or you can take color directly in your cotton so you will take a dry paint brush and you will add okay 
Yes, you are going to add blue here. Okay, you will add blue here. And what you will do, you will start doing your blue from corner. Okay, I will start my blue from here. Come on, start. Okay, De done? Yes. Now what you are going to do, you will, and feather touch, as feather touch your skin, no? that way you will give wash. Come on, go for blue, blue. If you feel that color is turning light, you can take, come on, feather touch and wash. That's why we call it wash. Okay, you can see I'm, the, I'm simply washing my paper, seams, and in one direction. When you will move ahead, see the magic will happen. As cotton is getting exhausted of water and color, automatically you will start getting lighter tone. Can you see this? The tones are lighter. You know, dark to light, automatically. The tones are happening automatically. Okay? You can keep it a little more darker. Give one more coat here. I want to leave this and one more coat here. And see. I will take little of color again. I prefer taking color directly on cotton. Now what happened then? Your color don't go waste. When you take it in plate and then remaining color always you throw. And I dislike this. But see this part near uh, this you will be making a little darker. And don't take color again. Okay, because this very light color, I will move. Now see my cotton is having almost no color left. It will be, make the corners a little darker. The same cotton, double, uh, two times when you will move now, you will find corners a little darker. Come on. This way you will put blue on whole page. Okay? Yeah. Come on, do this. And your cotton, which is having almost no color, you will be using very nicely for showing lighter tone here. So what will happen? We will not have to mix white. And look, with cotton, this happened. When your color is uh, getting over from cotton, automatically your tone reduces. So see, dark to light, it happened automatically without efforts. And look, so this is one more magic of cotton. And cotton can hold lots of color. So see, we took color once and we simply move. So your work has become so easy, isn't it? You will simply, come on, do this. I'm not taking color. Huh? I'm holding this cotton, which is almost dry, which is having no color almost. And what I will do, this which cotton, which is having very limited color, very carefully, I will move here. If I want to take, like it is very dry, so I can take a little water. Little water I can add, but not color. Because here I want to add very light tone of it. Because here, like moon night we are showing now. So very carefully, you will be you will simply this way. Okay, and we are going to add water also, white color also we will add in moon. If your little color is going inside, it's absolutely fine. Not to worry. Come on. So first we will give that blue effect, which is quite light here. And upper side, we will add dark. Okay, so for dark color, what you will do, you will add two, three drop of water. And little color again, little color because upper side we don't have much space to do. So I will simply see. 
started with this phase. Okay? Yeah, see this is the way you can finish your circle if you feel that you want to move it round this way. Can I move your cotton round this way? Just to show that ring of if it, your color is going little in moon or little in mountains around, it's absolutely fine. And simply cover it up. So see what we did actually. We actually covered up the area around softly. And I make sure you, you will move your color very softly. And this elevated area, I left white because here we are going to do blue, uh, black. So the very first thing which you will start in your landscape is you will give wash. Why we call it wash? Now it's very clear. I simply took a wet cotton and I washed the paper. And that's why it is called wash. We always start doing work with dark to light. And our first light tones, not dark to light, light to dark. So first I applied lightest tone background. And now I, as I want to make this and everything quite dark, now I will switch on to darker tone. Okay, cotton, if you, uh, you, the remaining color of paintbrush, I will add little darker tone in the corner here. In the corner, you will add little darker tone. Softly, you will swing your, swing your cotton. One more uh, uh, coat, you can swing. And I don't take much color. And simply swing this way. And the right now you must be thinking what has happened. Everything is looking blue, blue, blue. But now when we will start working over it now, you will see the magic will happen. So see when you will keep it little darker from both the side now, it looks as if this is the reflection of moon. And although we are going to highlight it with uh, colors, uh, white color, but still. So see this way, apply one more darker tone. You can even take help of Paint brush, see a little color was left. I will swing that too. So what will happen? In corners, it will become a little more darker. And it will clean my paint brush also. So see, this is the way. And make sure your line should be very sleepy. Okay, with patience and with feather touch. This is very important. That is how what ways your cotton. Or your paintbrush is touching what ways you are treating your paper. If paper balls are, if you will be harsh with paper and or lots of water you are picking up and again and again you are applying your watercolor work at one place. So what will happen? Your paper will tear. And so you need to understand. So that's why cotton is best. And because it holds lots of color and you simply move softly and in one stroke, one shot your work is done. So always use cotton for giving wash. Okay, if you don't have thick paintbrush, even though if you have thick paintbrush, then also I will suggest you to use cotton ball for giving wash. Okay, and with cotton, one more thing happened. You have seen this dark to light. When your cotton is having lots of color, you will find darker tone and gradually when the color will start getting exhausted, you will automatically find lighter tone. Okay, yeah. And don't take small cotton. If you will take little of cotton now, so it will not work like, as this is a big paper, A3 size paper, to so take this enough cotton so that you can simply move in one direction. I'll wait for all of you so that we all can be in rhythm. We have pre junior, junior, senior, three batches available, and from Tomorrow, our new batch will start. On a regular interval, um, it keep getting started. Our each artwork um, is having. We always start with a dot, you know, and with step by step drawing and coloring guidance, we are covering up each and every. Done, everyone. I think you. Uh, I need to wait for a little time. Yes, I will. All of you finish.
and it's truly praiseworthy that you all are having assignments and exams still you try to find out time to attend the class it's truly praiseworthy of from everyone done yes okay okay i will wait so that you all can finish and this way is i completed blue in sky okay yeah uh we are going to add some colors in moon also right now we will keep it white okay now you can see that your cotton is absolutely dry yeah it's absolutely dry or you can simply dip it in water you can dip it in water nicely clean it wash it remove all extra water hai na when you see that there is no water left and you remove all the water all the color then softly you will move it here this phase when there is no color almost the lightest color you find you will add in moon okay wash your cotton and then add it you can add some this kind of spots also i know you must have seen this kind of uh some texture you can add little little texture also somewhere by using your cotton this phase okay and this is the way you will be doing your uh moon and now you can see the sides are left little white let it be white and do this wash your cotton nicely so using one cotton we find lighter tone darker tone we repeat it two times and we find darker tone hai na and we wash it and we find extremely light tone so we saved lots of white otherwise what would we would have done for making sky blue we would have done white okay yeah done everyone yeah i can see many are still busy doing i will not go fast i want all of you to do it with me so that you can understand the basic steps of making it okay now you will keep your blue cotton on one side it is dry and we are going to use it again you can clean it nicely because for black we are going to use it again okay for black this complete mountain part we will do black but this time lots of color and very little um uh, water hai na it should not be very dry also but not very wet also because we want our mountains absolutely black and if you can handle your paint brush if you can handle your paint brush then you can use this thick paint brush and you can go for this also so with cotton or with this so see with cotton you will simply take color and you will move and see this is the way i will do and very little as i told you very little water i wanted z black so this is the way i will complete it and if you are using cotton then you can take color on cotton and simply go for with cotton the same thing can be done with cotton okay so if you are not um, very much comfortable with paint brush please do this part with cotton okay and those who feel that i can do it with paint brush they will to use paint brush this thing can be done with earbud also okay with earbud also and if you feel that you want to use your brush pens for this you can make this black part with brush pen also so there are so many options if you feel that you i want to do this black with oil pastel you can and you know, so it's not like in watercolor painting uh, as we are uh, today here with complete watercolor work that's why we are doing otherwise mix media is always a best option so you can switch on to mix media work like uh, 
watercolor background and mountain and all you can try with oil pastel and this kind of dry color medium so see this is the way i completed it okay yeah come on make it black nicely And you will make mountains absolutely black. Please don't uh, try to uh, make it gray. Like if you will add lots of water in it, it will look gray. We don't want it to look like gray. We want them perfectly black. So Z black they should look. Okay, one more color we need now. And that is pink and white. Pink and white. Okay, so we will take pink and white color. And we will start with the work. Hopefully, you all must have done this much. Will you please lift up files and show the work? Yes, show your work, everyone. So beautiful. I will not ask you to lift up your files again and again because I can understand during water, doing watercolors, it's difficult to lift up your files. Very good work. Beautiful. Now, you're going to take your pink color and black color. I know you can take pink. If you don't have pink, you can take red also. Pink and black color. And here, I will suggest you to do it with, uh, if, if you can handle paintbrush, you can use paintbrush. Otherwise, you will use earbud. Okay, you will use earbud. How to do this with earbud? This also I will show you. So you will take earbud. You will dip it in water. And you will take pink color. Come on, take your pink color. Okay, take your pink color and make sleeping lines like we made sleeping lines. Huh? So you will first make a line here. Okay, you will make a line here. And you will simply add sleeping lines. And now you will go for sleeping lines. If your lines are going in the standing bamboos, it's absolutely fine because we are going sleeping. You will move with it. Now, the same thing can be done with paintbrush. Whatever I'm doing with paintbrush, if you don't have command over paintbrush, I will suggest you to switch on to uh, this. Okay. So, I will take water and then I will do. So, now let's complete this with earbud so that you can understand how earbud can also be used for coloring. So I will take this pink. Okay. Little pink here. And now I have dry cotton. So I will add little pink in the corners near. Sleeping line I will make. Come on. Sleeping. You can see you will not move your color in different directions. You are supposed to move it in sleeping direction only. You will add little of pink around. That effect we will add directly with 
oil pastel. Keep your oil pastels also ready. We will add little of pink around with help of oil pastels. We will not stop for little time. And we will start with our black. And I will start doing black here. I will simply go from out to in. Out to in. Again, this is this will go sleeping direction. And it should be Zad black. Sleeping, not diagonal. Okay, the ways we completed lines now. This can be done with paintbrush or with earbud. I will I'm simply let's see with earbud what will happen now. You don't need to be uh, worried about its balance. Simply place it on surface and then you move just like pencil. So your lines are more confident. Okay. You will add little black this side also. This side you'll, you will make a line first. And this line you will be making small lines. Sleeping line again. But this side the lines are going to be small. Small sleeping lines. Okay. This is the way you will add little of pink sleeping lines. Using earbud. With earbud, you will be able to drag it in kind of texture you will find properly. And here, like in the corner, you're going to keep it full black. Okay? When you're mixing two colors, you need to be little quick. Okay? So see, this is the way you will complete this much. We will take a little more black. Yeah. See in the corner, you will keep it black. Come on, do this. The corner also here, like in the end of the this, here also you are going to keep it quite black. Gradually, like this pink has appeared, this we want to show. Little touch up of Okay, and very carefully remember this line, you know, because this line we, will, we are going to add white. We will add white. So we need to remember this line. We are going to complete all the standing pillars with black. And if you want to use brush pens for this, you can. If you can handle your paintbrush, you can. Otherwise, with earbud, you can make this. Okay, so um, please use earbud if you are not comfortable with paintbrush. Or you can use your brush pens also. So I will take black. This I will do. This way. Okay. And now here after coloring like the lines are almost gone. So you need to remember that from where your lines will start. Okay. This will guide you that from where it will start. And you're going to complete this too. Like the lines will come till here. And they will go straight up. So you can go a little straight up. You know, gradually the lines were getting smaller. One line was here also. So gradually though you will make your lines small and kind of rectangle shape you will make with help of it. You can even use your brush pen for this. Okay. This is the way we completed it. With very lots of patience, you do this. Okay, final touch up, little touch up we are going to add with uh, oil pistols. 
So please keep your oil pistols also ready. The upper shape, right? you feel that it's And you will be making it straight here. And now you are going to turn your file upside down. Come on, turn your file upside down. Because now we are going to work on, yes. Well, we are going to work on branches and so many other things. Very carefully, you will be using uh, your color or your brush pen or your earbud, whatever you are using. It's completely black, actually. Yes, I'm waiting. I'll give or take a pause of two minutes so that you all can do it properly. Okay, and by this time, our moon is also done your moon is dry and upper side is quite dry because now we will work on it by this time that part will get dry and then we will work over that so this way we will be able to work on both the parts okay and as i told you we want oil pistols in the end for little touch up so please keep your oil pistols ready okay we are going to use them in the end so here in this landscape, you can see we kept things very limited. And I, like it's not kind of landscape in which you have so many things, different kind of trees and that and this. It's absolutely different than those all uh, landscapes. You know? So uh, yes, we will use few things for creating this masterpiece. This kind of landscapes can be tried on uh, canvases also for canvas painting also this kind of landscapes are amazing show your thumbs up okay the moment you complete it and I'm very happy to see you all have done it really amazingly very good very nice I simply turn my file upside down, okay? Now that uh, platform which we draw is looking uh, quite uh, black and it seems as if there is no detailing. But you will see we will add life using um, with some colors afterwards. We will add colors afterwards, okay? Okay, now we will take brown brush pen. Take brown brush pen. And if you uh, want to do it with a uh, thin paint brush, you can do. But I will suggest you to make this with it. And you will make the branches with your brush pen. And you can use brown color for this. Okay, this uh, with brush pen, what will happen? You will find watercolor impact. At the same time, the delicate look of branches, which should not get disturbed, and which I really don't want to get disturbed, that will be maintained. And effortlessly, like you will be able to get it. And the branches we draw before only so that. Okay, these are some branches we want to show. Come on, make these branches with brush pen. I used brown. And you're going to keep it delicate only. Don't try to make it thick. And we want to make a show that they are completely uh, lushed with beautiful leaves. And now you need your two colors. And these are pink and white. And you'll, you will be taking your earbud. Okay. Done, everyone. Uh, do you have this glass pen? Many of you would not be having the cholo. We will add that uh, detailing with white, with this only. Okay. So your color is dry. 
check your color is it dry if it is dry then only you will do the treatment over if it is wet then you will not do this take earbud take white color come on shall i do all of you have done now yes thumbs up thumbs up with smile <laughs> okay i will take white and first i will move on this line of pencil i don't want it to be visible okay and this what will happen then a white like kind of outliner will definitely enhance its beauty so you will do this accordingly and now what you are going to do you will take your zero number paint brush or you can take the same earbud and what you will do you will make if you have zero number paint brush or two number or one number paint brush as i have you will take it and as we have this now let's add some stars here and there because we are making moon night so whatever part we can complete let's complete that come on let's throw some stars some big and small okay we will add some stars in water as water is what reflection we will add if you if you will press less you will find don't make too many few are enough okay and you will be done ah, come on do this do this and then you are going to just below moon you know like beneath moon you want to show its reflection come on add some stars and now very carefully by the time that bridge will which we made will get dry you know so what we will do we will simply add lines like this is moon exactly below we will add lines gradually the lines will reduce and i will reduce the lines gradually with help of earbud you can even use paint brush you will be making it as thick as your moon is it's quite big and this is the way gradually your lines will decrease come on do this it's looking like a triangle and as water is not a stable element you know so we are going to show it shaky so near uh, like moon we will keep it quite dark and gradually you can see it's looking lighter and even here or chalo one by one we will complete so only reflection of water you can see and see near this like i i left little white but you are going to make some lines of this kind to show that this is the place from where water gets started with okay the rest all white uh, touch up we will give at the end if you have this kind of thin paint brush you keep it ready if you have this kind of glass pencil you can use this also white pen otherwise we are going to do it with white oil paste now we will take our white earbud we will open white and pink both and we will start with our flowers okay we want to make lots of flowers so what you are going to do you will take white lots of white you will take pink on same and you will start with the flowers how to start are you ready are you ready see how to start you will go for tap 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 automatically like blue and white you will start getting mixing of that 
and when you will come and you know, take enough color and when you come on the tip of it you will make it little less dense again you can take pink and add little dark pink also here okay so every time white and pink you can randomly keep taking white and pink and all and you are going to add flowers this way okay so again i will take lots of pink lots of white and pink okay and my next flower branch i want to start from here you can go for bigger see all of you see just one minute if you want to go for bigger flowers come on make a circle make a circle automatically your colors will mix and at a few flowers you can make bigger and then you will go and see your color should be and on the tip you will find, make your flowers little smaller in corner it can be bigger take little pink then little white and accordingly show flowers in abstract look here can you see this how beautiful the branch is looking with lots of flowers on it okay this is the way you will add flowers we want to show these branches are falling down from upper side and up so we will add few more for bigger flowers you can simply move your ear bud round and then gradually you can make it again white and then on the same pink and then your work will start okay and you you are going to make all around so see as i told you for bigger flowers you will move it bigger you know in a very creative way you will do white if you feel in blue your white flowers will look great so take little white keep your pink less prominent and add this but the variation should be there and it should not look as completely white or completely pink color variation will make it looking amazing upper side you can make flowers little bigger come on now this way you will show these branches from all around okay technique is very simple but you can see the output is looking so amazing the mixing of color which is randomly coming you know has made this will add a beauty and very mature uh, look to the artwork and i will prefer taking white and then pink and the upper side i will move round want to show bigger flowers along with some small tiny flowers and when i will come further i will go for smaller and i and make sure you will take lots of color and you will not do this with very less color okay some were pink some were and you know, some dark pink white you can take because on blue now white will definitely look great so you can simply add you can move it round you know, and you will add with this kind of flowers falling down from above here also you can show little part of branch also is visible you can show that ways also and you can see on the top like i will add some tiny tiny this kind of flowers okay white again then pink and i will i'm going to cover up this branch which is going to come on moon okay i will simply and when i will come on the so i will simply and this is the way 
some white, some pink, some wear white prominent, some wear pink prominently I will keep and I will try to add colors all around. And you can see we kept this branch. This way is quite beautiful, which is coming on moon. And we simply, in abstract look, we will make all these flowers on branches. And the technique is very simple with earbud. With no efforts, like you will find lovely flowers ready. And for canvas painting also, you can try this kind of branches, which are completely covered with beautiful flowers. And you will find very mature mixing, that random and suggestive mixing which you want. You will find that exact look uh, when you will try this. And this is the way I will complete all, like the gap which is left. There also you can make some random strokes. And this is the way the branches are falling down from all around till end you will take it okay see if i will turn it up very carefully now while turning it upside down you need to be very very careful okay see so this way is that upper portion we did and we showed the reflection also we showed the branches uh, falling down from all around nicely and very simple technique that is earbud impression technique we use for doing this. Anna? And now your artwork is waiting for final touch up. Yes. Uh, if you don't have white, then you can add yellow also. If you don't have white with pink, you can add yellow or any other color. I know you can add. Uh, I can see everyone. Ujwala, you too? <laughs> yeah. I know you must be thinking we are sitting very far and ma'am can't see me. I can see every one of you. You are very close to me. See? Can you see this? Each one is in front of me. And will you please lift up? Okay, I will not ask you to lift up your files because during watercolors, now, like everything is open, water container is there. I will not ask you to lift up your work. So this we did. Now we will work on this part, which is very important and beautiful part of the drawing. Okay? Yeah. Finish this. I, I think I shall take a pause. Huh, you can do orange also. You can make those flowers with yellow, orange, orange, simply white. You know, white with touch up of any color. You can try any color. If you don't have white, take yellow. Yellow is a lovely color. If you don't have yellow also, you can take light green and you can show those branches with light green with little touch up of yellow. You know, but you will show them mix and match. Like some, some uh, lighter tone and some darker tone. And this way is that upper part is done. And now this lower part is left. And when you all will show your thumbs up, then we will work on that part. And for this little detailing, I'm going to take help of, of my um, oil pastels. I will take help of oil pastels. I will take out some colors like white, rose pink color. You know, and I am going to take... Um, Black, I will take black also. And I will give touch up with this. Okay, come on. And then this beautiful work will be done. So hopefully the branches are done or want me to wait for a little more time. Yes, shall I wait for a little more time? Done? Achha, little time. Okay, I'm, I'm going to, I, I'll wait for a little more time. Done, everyone? If done, show your thumbs up. Uh, there are many who are showing thumbs down. They want for a little more time. 
So let's give a little more time to them also. By the time those who have done, they can revise that what ways we did. And now the final touch up. See, when you are making moon night or even sunset, so when there is presence of moon, what is moon? Moon is a big ball of um, silver. And so you need to show silver on all elements around. If you are showing a moon night and you will not show its influence on all elements around, it will look very dull and lifeless. You will see the moment I will add white, that effect of silver on elements around, it will look amazing. And that effect of silver we are going to learn now. So, chalo, shall I? So the very first color I will be taking, if you're, you are not able to handle your white paintbrush, you will take white color and very carefully you will move it around. This is touch of silver. We want to show the silver. Like as there is moon present with oil pastel. Then I use oil pastel as your color is red black and make sure your color should be dry. If your color would be wet now, you won't be able to move your oil crystal. So if your color is wet, you will have to wait till it gets dry. Okay, you, uh, you can do it after the class when your work is completely dry. And uh, you can show the lines little breaking. And this is the way with oil crystal very nicely, you will be able to connect it. Come on. Okay, you will add this kind of effect here and you are going to show its effect on this complete platform but before that first you are going to make a line okay now here you will have to see that your uh, color is completely dry if your color is wet you won't be able to do this work okay so take your white and now you will take black and this portion which we if you remember, we did it with pencil. You know? That portion you do black with oil pastel colors. Here you use oil pastel because little textured look, it will then it will come. Yeah. So this lower portion which I made, you are going to do it with oil pastel. Okay. And over this, you will make a line with white. Come on, make a line with white because here also the effect of moon we want to show. Okay? And those who are able, capable enough of doing it with a zero number brush, they can do. I'm picking up the things which are manageable for all of you. I know that kind of uh, things I'm taking here so that you all can manage to do it nicely. I will be making a line here in front in front with oil pastel you will be making a line here okay with oil pastel if your color is wet your oil pastel will not work properly you will have to wait till it get dry and I do this only when your paper is dry as my color is completely dry so I'm able to do it you will make one more line Soft line. Okay. And you are going to make the lines. Like these all lines, huh? we will highlight one side only. Okay. You will not go for all around. Only one side and upper. One side and upper. One side and upper portion one side and a proportion. Okay. This is the way you will add detailing to this. Here also one side. One side. This complete detailing can be done with white color with paint brush also but these lines should be very delicate and if these lines won't be delicate then your whole artwork is going to suffer so we will not take that risk and very smartly we will simply sleeping lines some sleeping lines if you want you can
Uh, yes, Kashmi, just I will go through messages. Ah, yes, Kashmi, this artwork, uh, this complete artwork you will find available on our YouTube channel. And in our regular classes also, we provide recording of every class to every child with lifetime validity. So that child can practice n number of time. Okay. If you want to mix like little of uh, pink, you, know, you want to mix softly in black, you can move sleeping. You can put pink here, sleeping. You know, softly, sleeping direction. But now here we are going to add pink, little, little pink here. Softly, I'm using um, rose pink color for this. And I will simply add the lines this way. Little touch of pink. You can add a little pink in moon if you want. Softly. Very soft. Okay. You can add a little pink. You are going to add pink here in this corner. But make sure your line should be sleeping. Perfectly sleeping. It should not go diagonal or tilted lines. No. Okay. You will move your pink over this way okay you can go further with little little strokes and a pink like as we are showing pink reflection you can add little of pink somewhere just to add touch of pink in sky also And you want some lines with white. Come on, do a thing first and then we will add some white lines. Huh. Just a minute, Kashmi. I will go through messages. Uh, see, here we are not going to show the shadow. Okay, we will not show the shadow of this. We simply, ha, of this pillar, we are going to show. Yes, for pillars, we will be showing. And for that, we will prefer using plastic crayons or the same you can use. And for showing shadow, what you will do? You will show triangular shape. Light, light. Light, light triangular shape. And shaky. We will start it from here and here. We will make shadow of these pillars only. Okay? And little, if you want to show... Softly, we will show its shadow. And trees and all, we will not show. Yes, we are going to add shadow of these also. Mountains also. And for making shadows of mountain, you will slowly, softly, you will not go in uh, branches of uh, this. You will softly put your color a little here, little there. And according to the size, you can simply show, but make sure your lines will be sleeping. And I see if your lines will be in different direction, then it can uh, affect your beauty of your work. So you're supposed to understand that you need to uh, take care of this. So see, I made shadow very soft, very softly with no pressure. And sleeping, absolutely sleeping direction, I've, I'm going with. And this is the way I will complete shadow. I will revise. I completed the shadow of this. Okay, these are kind of triangular. Gradually, the lines are getting smaller. I showed the shadow of uh, mountain. Okay. And... You can add little of lines here. With oil pistol only, I will add some lines to just enhance its beauty. And I like they are in water. We want to show this now. This effect is very important. So till here, like we can add this effect, some random lines. And now you can say my artwork is done. Okay. So see, this touch-up is very important. When you are doing work with moon night, this white impact is very important. Okay? If you will see our YouTube channel there, waterfall. Waterfall we taught. And in that, if you want to add little of white, I think let's leave it. 
this artwork is done. And you know what? I'm eagerly waiting to see how it turn up on your paper. Okay? And uh, your efforts. And see, uh, please do revise. You know, because we learn so many new techniques. Here, while giving outline, see, here you will be giving only one side. One side and the top. One side and the top. And I don't give all around. It's beautiful work. Lovely. Very nicely and very beautiful. You did. We purposely used oil pistol for giving this effect. Because oil pistol is a dry color medium. And with help of that, easily you can complete this. So see the techniques which we learned. They are very simple. We started with blue color. When I spread blue color, it was looking like what mess up is happening. But slowly then we work on its detailing. And this complete output is here in front of you. So hopefully you all must have enjoyed today's class. If yes, show me a thumbs up with Badi Wali smile. If you like the class. And please do revise. You will find this complete video available on our YouTube channel. Okay. So, and our new batch is going to get started from tomorrow. So those who want to get enrolled. If, uh, and we have three batches. Pre-junior and junior and senior batch. You know? We teach step by step, whether it is senior batch, whether it is junior batch. We teach it right from scratch. This is our teaching methodology. And um, uh, please do share. I will uh, request the parents to share a video or video of yours with artwork in your hands about your journey and experience while learning this watercolor landscape. Okay? So if you try to try other landscapes also, there also you need to go for the same steps. You will draw, then you will erase unwanted lines, then you will give wash, and then you will work over, okay? So hopefully the steps are very clear, and I want to wind up my class with your lovely smile, okay? So this, you are able to do such amazing work because of that joy, you know, with which you started the work. So chalo, with this, I will wind up class. May God bless you. Bye-bye. Take care, my dear children. Lots of blessings. Yes, I've checked everyone's work and my YouTube channel's name is RGO Online Classes. Okay, RGO Online Classes. This is the name of our YouTube channel. Okay, Ambika?